Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, sorry about the weirdness of the lighting, but had to do uh, what I could here. Didn't bring my lighting gear with me. Uh, as you can see, I haven't shaved. Uh, I'm on vacation, so. <laughs> now, uh, I did hit 100 subscribers, which awesome. I'll probably do a contest of some kind here in a while because that seems to be kind of tradition. Um, I wanted to go over some pickups that I've done here in Michigan while I've been here and kind of go over a, a really cool store that I found there, too local, and I'll get into those in a minute. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody who left suggestions for the GameCube games to play in the back of the car. Uh, now, I did pick up a few that were on that list, a few of them I already had. Uh, one that came up time and time again, old classic, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. So that I already had in my collection, brought that with me. Also, uh, uh, classic Rampage. So Rampage we can play and help destroy the buildings together. This one, no one brought up, but it's actually an all right game, uh, Teen Titans. So we're gonna play that. I did get a nice stack of games uh, while I was here. Uh, the place that I'm going to talk about, the place that I'm going to talk about is called Game On, and there are two different locations uh, up here in Michigan. So if you're in the Flint area and you're looking for some old games, right now he's got buy two get the third free on any old school system, and it's actually pretty cool. I mean, I talked to Mike, the owner, and he's usually got his dog there with him, and he was just saying, you know, hey great that you're coming in and thought I might give him a shout out so thank you very much okay before I get to the ones that I got a game on I want to go over the three that I picked up uh, Goodwill up here and one is the Sims 3 pets for the 3DS I picked this up for four bucks my son who has tried to play it says that it's kinda hard so who knows there picked up uh, Panzer General for the PlayStation 1, and it's complete, so I was kind of happy to find that. And the other one that I've found, and there's no way you're going to be able to see this through the case and everything, but it is called, and the whole reason I bought it is because it's called, Irritating Stick. Irritating Stick, how cool of a name is that? But uh, that's, so that's those, and onto the ones that I picked up uh, from him. One that I am super excited to add to my collection, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of the Legacy of Cain series. This is the one that started it all, Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain. This is for the PlayStation, and I'll be playing through this when I get home, just because... It's a game that I've played so many times, I don't remember if I've ever actually beaten it. So, I'm gonna give it a go. The next one is I listen to a bunch of podcasts, because I have a, about a... 30 to 40 minute commute to work every day at one way and then another hour back but there's a podcast I listen to called Player One Podcast and it's about a bunch of people who are either in the industry or were in the industry of uh, games journalism or enthusiast press whatever you want to call it and he always jokes about skitchin skitchin see and what skitchin is is it's a cross between skating and hitching if you've ever seen Back to the Future it's what he does to the cars. He skates up before, behind him and grabs them. And this is a whole game based on it for the Genesis. And this is the one that caught me by surprise. is Shenmue 2. Now, I haven't been able to track down a copy of this, but he had it there for five bucks. And I picked up Shenmue 2. It's got the bonus disc and everything, so that made me really happy. And as for the the... The GameCube games that I was able to pick up here now, he didn't have a big selection of GameCube games, had a decent selection of other stuff. He did also have a Bible Stories game for the Nintendo that I opted not to pick up because I'm not that hardcore of a collector and that game's kind of crap. So I left it there. But uh, my, my friends recommended Time Splitters uh, because you can actually create your own maps and stuff, so I picked that up to give that a shot. For my son, this is a one-player game, but I figured if the rest of us want to bow out, he can go ahead and play this. Uh, 
Power Rangers Dino Thunder. He's a big Power Ranger fan. And last but not least, Lego Star Wars 2, the original, the original trilogy. So there's that. Now, a lot of you may be asking, why do we have such a weird looking... Oh dude, that's weird. Anyways, the reason we're up here is that this is uh, my room in my mom's house, that's where we're staying. And this wall was originally covered in Nintendo Power Posters way back in the day. So it always kind of brings me back to a, a good, happy place when I'm here. I've had a lot of fun uh, in Michigan. I've met a lot of uh, my friends again. It was nice hanging out with all of them. And for now, I'm getting ready to pack everything up and hop on the road uh, down to Tennessee, which that'll be fun. I uh, also picked up the Star Wars trilogy, so like the actual movies, so that if we get bored we can swap out the DVD player and go ahead and play some of that. Uh, but that's it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching, subscribing, you guys have been awesome. And uh, I'll have uh, another video in a little bit because I'm going to do uh, something really cool while I'm here. Uh, until then, play on!